L. Ladies and gentlemen, last time we left off with K, this time we're continuing the letter series with L. And uh, here are the rules for this one. We got long range darts, long range rangs, large radius, large caliber, longer range, long range, lots more darts, laser cannon, laser blasts and legend of the night, larger potions and lots of gold, long life bananas, long life spikes, and lastly, larger service area. And lastly, the map to pick was between Lotus Island Logs, and of course we have to choose Logs, because Logs is the greatest. Logs is love, Logs is life. This will also not be on Chimps mode. It's on hard standard up to 120 rounds, because, uh, well, there is not very many good options in terms of the L Towers, because as you saw, a lot of the towers that are here are literally just tier 1 and tier 2s, because that's what L is. Two thirds of the upgrades are just longer range, longer something. And plus, Legend Knight is unaffordable in Chips mode, but I think it's possible to afford it if we farm hard enough. We do have farms enabled, Long Life Bananas. You might have also seen, as you see right here, that I've enabled all Tier 1s for the upgrades that have an L at Tier 1. So instead of like 001, I can only buy that upgrade. I can cross path it up to that tier. I just won't allow going past it. Like, a, obviously a 201 would be a little bit cheating. But yeah, cross pathing up to the same tier is all fair game. Now to start, uh, my Dart Monkey, I know I didn't put it in a very good spot. That's because I was hoping to get three in action, but it's probably better to get uh, four sides through one go around rather than have it, having it in the corner here where it barely gets three. Either way, Towers are looking at for the mid game. Well, I guess I could save up for Legend of Night by going for Dark Knight, Dark Champion. Those are always uh, solid options. There's also a Laser Cannon. There's Long Life Spike and uh, uh, Let's Gold, but that's, yeah, other than those two, those three, there's really nothing good. So yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Also, one more rule to note here is that every tower I place uh, will eventually have to be upgraded to that I'll upgrade, so I can't just stop it as your zero, zero Dark Monkey. If I want to sell it, for example, I need to buy this and then sell it. Um, otherwise, if I keep it around, I must have the L upgrade by the end of the game to make it fair. So yeah, that means I have to afford Legend of Night um, by the time this challenge ends. Hopefully, again, the farms will allow us to get that far. How much is Legend of Night, by the way? 216k. Yeah, that's totally affordable. We got this, guys. So looking at the early game here, I'm thinking maybe a Grape Shot and then longer range if we need the Pierce for it. And then, uh, also for farming, we have Let's Gold, which I think I'll use because, well, I'm pretty sure it pays itself off better than a 1-0 your farm. If you make it get all the leads, and, uh, I mean, we can just make sure there's no lead popping at the front. And that'll guarantee to get almost all the leads. But yeah, until then, we'll do 1-1-0 one, one, spam, or rather 1-0-0, one, zero, zero, and then upgrade to 1-1-0 uh, uh, one, one, when we sell it, just to, uh, yeah, again, uh, greet a little bit harder, because, as you know... The Long Life is probably one of the most useless upgrades in the entire game. Makes your bananas last twice as long, but... I mean, who doesn't... If you don't collect your bananas in 15 seconds, uh, you're most likely not going to collect it in 30. You're probably AFK anyways. Pick your nose, doing something else. Anyways, one more farm, and then let's start saving up for Let's Gold. Put it in this nice bend over here. Crap, I might have overshot my greed here. I can't afford it. Let me do this, actually. If buy that 011 boat sell it and then we'll buy this the moment the round ends and there we go make sure to get all the money from the leads and it should attack fast enough right do we need to buy one two three for this i'll buy it to be safe there we go definitely will be nice to have a money counter to see how much the let's go has given us through the entire game but i guess uh nk forgot to add it for the uh, alchemist so they've added for every other tower that makes money but i guess this one's a little bit too obscure for money maker i don't know or they didn't want to get it mixed up with, you know, rubber gold as well. We also have camos to worry about next round, and I can't buy a crow's nest. So I think I'm thinking uh, since this is probably one of the better options, even though this can't isn't good, we'll just get the dartling gun anyways ahead of time. You know, I might take back what I said earlier about uh, long life bananas being the most worthless because I get I bet they could be pretty useful right now when you've got farms all over the map and only one cursor. I think we're bound to miss a banana here and there given. How much of the screen we're going to need to fill up. See, some of them are almost about to rot. Also, what do we do for uh, round 40? I didn't think about this part yet. I guess we can start upgrading to Laser Cannon. Laser Shock is also pretty good for more damage because it uh, gets plus one 
if you attack a already laser strong balloon you see yep that's definitely a good option pops them both down really fast and now back to farming i'm probably gonna need to drop something stronger though or upgrade to laser cannon some of the 40s because there's no way this defense can last that long again i want to keep breeding as far as i can as long as i can all right i got my laser cannon but i just remember that there's camel purples this round which the uh, laser cannon cannot pop so i guess i'll get another one this will just be an o2 o for now and we're starting to run out of farm space we're, we're starting to have to put them well where our tower should be like in the middle for example should i use up uh this spot for farm because this is probably where my supermarket is gonna be but i'll buy it anyways because i guess with dark shift i can move it in the middle when i need we when i need to anyways and then we'll at that point we'll get rid of the uh, that farm for now i guess we could put it right to the right of this farm there's a good amount of space over there okay and i think with that we've pretty much filled in every single farm space on the map oh wait there's one more over here that i missed it's like one pixel over here and you can actually place one more over here but i didn't pay, place the other farm boost perfect so it is what it is this will be the last farm and actually whoa i cannot fit a stream monkey here wow they are thick aren't they i guess i'll put one up here then for the time being hopefully should be okay for now i think there's also another spot right here but that would require me to sell the let's go i think it's probably worth it hang on we can do this instead so strong sell you for another farm it's definitely worth doing even though i lose money from selling it just because uh we got i don't know 50 more rounds to save up for legend of night but yeah we should be making some good stacks for this one now we'll finally upgrade to long life i'm honestly sure that if we or because we didn't have long life bananas we probably missed collecting some bananas without having banana farms around life's too short to be playing off fast forward and uh making sure to collect every single banana ain't nobody got time for that so we'll upgrade all these to long life and that's all the farming we can pretty much do i could go for multiple let's golds but i don't think there's any other round that has that many leads that require that maybe except for round 63 but once you do the job and yeah what's our next point of business the thing is i don't want to upgrade this dark knight to a 203 just yet because purples exist i think round 62 is a long purple round so i'll probably keep it at 03 and then upgrade to 203 for round 63 i wonder how much money we're making per round from all these farmers i guess we can do some math real quick while we're chilling so i believe it is six bananas every round so 120 for each 100 farm here 110 farm if i'm counting correctly that's 36 banana farms oh also camel lads um i guess i can buy this anyway screw it we'll deal with round 62 when the time comes i guess i could just spam more juggling gun or something like that because they're not camel purples are they we can just get normal dps for that but yeah 36 farms do add up that's like over 4k per round which should definitely accelerate our uh road to legend of the night i mean we're already gonna get dark champion in the mid 60s so yeah this might just be a breeze folks and here is round 63 do i need anything more than just dark knight or does one dark knight actually kind of solo it actually does i think uh it is falling a bit behind though because the next wave comes in before we have a chance to kill the entirety of wave two maybe i'll do some micro with the laser cannon yeah just to be safe here no need to take any unnecessary risk in fact i could even sell a farmer too for the uh what you call it the uh, dark champion i think we're good though right come on laser cannon solo this nice nice all right there we have it dark champion i'm pretty sure on logs this thing can beat up to around 100 so i actually don't think i have to worry anymore Oh, I just realized that um, my Dark Champion spot here is taking away pops from the uh, Let's Go, or money from Let's Go. So let me uh, move it somewhere, I guess. Dang, there's really no spot other than here. I guess I'll do here. Why not? Just to make a bit of, bit more money from these LEDs. But yeah, just looking at the math, I'm pretty sure we can make it, we can afford Legend of Night uh, by round uh, in the 90s or something like that. I could even sell the farms to accelerate getting there even faster because these sell for what? 1.7 just multiply by 36 uh, and uh that's a lot it's like fifty thousand dollars worth of uh sellback right there so uh technically we're only uh, 80k away all right not gonna lie this money came in a lot faster than i expected we're at around 92 we're only 10k off i might as well just not sell any farms at this point just because i can probably beat 93 solo with just dark champion yeah, and it is log so basically any tower gets like a 10x buff 
because of how it, simple the map is. Beat 94 here, and I think we forwarded, guys. In fact, we can afford in the middle of the round, and there we go. Legend of the Night. If you thought the Dark Champion was doing a lot of damage, just look at that Dark Knight, or Legend of the Night. You guys already know, they got a nice buff this update, where uh, it's pretty much double damage, if not a bit more than that. So not only will beat 100 rounds easy, it might beat 120 rounds too easily as well. I guess we'll find out. And at this point, there's pretty much nothing to do with the money, but I guess I'll keep the farms around. Even though it's annoying to collect bananas, also make sure to upgrade this to long range, just so I don't forget. And this one to laser shock, also so I don't forget. Yeah, as I said, there's pretty much nothing to spend the money on after this. You could, I guess, buy laser blast super monkeys. Uh, you can do long life spikes, laser cannon spam. But none of that, none of the power of that, like, uh, even competes with the knight. Like, you can't even see in a sub position like that. Beats the bat so easily. I'm not even going to sell this farm in the middle to, to replace my Super Monkey. I bet we can be 120 rounds with this in the corner over here. Well, so far, so good, it seems. Uh, feels like the uh, group balloon round, so the biggest drop, like, round 111 here. Lots of balloons, but Legend of Night, uh, keeps up. Don't forget we have a free bailout, too, if we need it with a portal, but doesn't look like we need it with Legend of the Night again. 118. ETs are no problem. I guess this round would be a good time to put in the middle, but eh, why not? Why not flux a little bit? I'll have it. Try to see if we can beat the three bats here. Uh, so there's one down. Definitely running out of space here. I'll make sure to put on strong. Just to be safe. Because we can put this back on first later for ceramics. Oh, JK. Wait, it's okay. I have the portal for this. I guess I'll use my one life on that. I guess since this thing cannot reach down here, I... Uh, wait... Alright, just to be safe. If the Legend had a bit more range to reach uh, the second loop there, the second lane before it exited, we wouldn't have to replace it, but I just did that to be safe. Alright, and that's it. We did the most important thing in this challenge, and that's to not take an L. You can see the cash generate here an absolute insane amount with these 36 farms. 344k. And of course, Legend stealing all the pops. Yeah, that's it. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more of the Lotus series. And have a lovely and lucky day.